Hello, this is H3's Haley. In this video, I will share with you guys about our latest Falcon series product. I will start with a case scenario and then discuss how the PCIe Gen 5 expansion system solves the problem and what benefits the system design can bring up. Before I start talking about the case scenario, I want to give you guys a brief depiction about our GPU expansion system design. This is the architecture of GPU expansion system. The PCIe fabric and the GPUs are in two separate boxes. The PCIe fabric, compute node, and the GPU box are connected by CDFP cables. The PCIe Gen 5 fabric box is 36 CDFP connectors and each connector is PCIe Gen 5 by 16. The GPU box is with 16 double wide, 4 lengths and 4 high slots. This GPU box is also with 16 CDFP connectors to be connected to fabric box. The compute node will go through the fabric box to the GPU box to access the PCIe GPU devices. Okay, next I will talk about the problem our customer has in real life. One of our cloud customers has to process huge data days and nights. They buy rows of racks to process different sets of data. Here I call those which work for AI computing during the night AI racks. Those servers working for AI computing at night time need a lot of accelerators for efficient processing. Therefore, each server can have 8 GPUs for better performance. When morning comes, the cloud company has to influence their customers' shopping behaviors. Here I call those racks inference racks. It's enough for each server to get just one GPU for this task. The two racks take turns to work in a complementary distribution sense. Although such a work distribution looks fine, there is huge hidden costs for this company. For AI racks, each server gets 8 GPUs and there are 1800 servers. Each GPU costs around 15,000 US dollars. So for just AI racks, the company has to pay 216 million US dollars. As for inference racks, the GPU model they use for inferencing is cheaper, around 500 US dollars. So 1800 servers will cost the company for about 900,000 dollars for installing these GPUs. Although AI and uh, inference racks function well separately for their company, they turn idle every other half of the day. It turns out half of the company's investment falls to waste due to these machines' cut half utilization rates. Therefore, H3 has the motivation to solve this problem with the thought to use the same set of accelerators for two different tasks. By adopting PCIe and CXL switches, H3 designs and manufactures innovative composable system design to solve this issue with device expansion. The GPUs can be disaggregated from the servers and connected with the PCIe CXL switches. The user, such as the manager, can configure the same set of devices for inference computing in the morning and AI computing during the night. If there are a mass of devices, it's easy to conduct these commands through the API. Now I want to show you how to distribute these resources on the latest h 3 Falcon GPU Management GUI for this specific case. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how to use our GUI system to manage these resources in this case. This system model is the Falcon Gen 5 GPU expansion infrastructure. 
We know that in this case, the server gets one GPU for inferencing in the morning, eight GPUs for AI computing during the night. Therefore, we can place eight hosts and eight devices connected with two switches in drawer one. Here we know that Gen 5 switch 89144 has 9 by 16 stations. So we got 8 stations for PCIe devices. Every host, I let its throughput up to by 16 compatibility here. As for the device, here I use the GPU A100. I also set it with by 16 compatibility and place eight GPUs in this platform at one time. Now I'm going to show how to distribute these resources according to this case. Now I want to allocate and I hit this tab at the middle right side. Now I select the host one and then check the device number one. Then hit the tab allocate. Success! Then we do the host 2, doing it with the same process. Due to 8 GPUs for 8 servers, so I have to do it 8 times one by one. You may forward the video if you like. Let me finish this process. As mentioned earlier, if there are a mass of devices, it's faster to give the comments through the API. Okay, almost done there. Now it's the part for morning. Every host can get one GPU to do the inferencing work. As for the night, I need to change the task for these machines. A host has to connect a GPUs for the computing. Firstly, I have to deallocate the GPUs from each server. Same, mass of devices can also be deallocated from the server through API commands. It's convenient and fast. Now I deallocate them one by one. Here you may want to forward if you'd like to. After this, I am to distribute 8 GPUs to one host. Here I want to choose host 5 for this demo. Then hit the allocate tab and select all the 8 devices on the right side. Done! You can see the process has been successfully completed. Every device is connected to host 5. Then when it turns to deallocate, in the same way, select host 5. Then hit the deallocate tab to disconnect all the 8 GPUs. Just check them all, deallocate. Done! Okay, this is how to use our Falcon system to configure all these device resources to serve us for our different tasks. With this PCIe Gen 5 GPU solution, it's possible to flexibly use the same set of accelerators to complete different sets of tasks. The cloud customer can not only enhance their device's performing efficiency, improve their device utilization rates, and reduce the total cost of ownership. Although the replacement of infrastructure raises the cost about 4.5%, the utilization rate of the GPU devices can boost up to 70%. The result is stunning and worth the investment. Moreover, catching up the trend of eco-friendlessness as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed Enjoy this, video. this video. Give it a thumb up if you did. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.